structured versus unstructured data. Heavily we keep hearing it. And we also hear the word called big data. So please do note down the word called big data. Now you have structured data is the data which is stored in the form of uh, tables. Columns and rows. And there's a data type, numeric data type, data type, string data type, the various data types. These are structured data. So you can arrive at a lot of meaning from them. But if I am given a complete data dump from my Facebook, so many people write comments on the Facebook. I got, got all of the data from the Facebook. What will I do with that? What data type is that? Is it a numeric data type or is it a decimal data type? What data type is that? Similarly, from the Twitter, I got a lot of data. Which is all text. Correct? And people are written free hands. Free English. It may have grammatical mistakes. It may have no punctuations. It, 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 it's, it's free floating English. No. But that data has a lot of meaning. So let me take an example here. <clears throat> let's assume there's a uh, uh, elections going on in India. Now, I want to figure out what is the sentiment of people. Are they going to vote for NDA? Are they going to vote for UPA? Whom are they going to vote? What is running in the mind of people? I don't have any structured data of that, right? But many people write in the Twitter about their views. Many people write in the Facebook about their views. Some conversation will keep on going on. So is there a way I can read that unstructured data, which could be in the form of audio, video, text, and find out what is happening in their mind, which is called sentiment analysis. <clears throat> you can write note down this point also, big data and sentiment analysis. Can I analyze the data and find out what is sentiment running in the mind of people? They are talking good about ex-political party, they are talking bad about ex-political party, do they have any expectation from a different political party, what are they talking about, right? A, a political party by looking at this data can make a meaningful analysis and then take some decisions on what should be their communication pitch when they are doing a uh, mass rally, correct? So all that today people use it, okay? Political parties across the world use this to understand what is sentiment and then make their pitch accordingly in their next communication. <clears throat> So that is what is structured versus unstructured data. When you process both structured and unstructured data into a repository and then work on it and apply data science, and that whole stuff is called the big data.